I'm here in Michigan and we are at a Buick event. So we are checking out the Buick Encore GX, the 2024 GX that was redesigned for this year. And we're gonna talk about some of the new upgrades that Buick has done, because they are really trying to step up their game in this like, I guess like mid-tier luxury market. If this is your first time joining me, hey, I'm Kelly and I'm the car mom. I review cars for moms and for families. I'm a mom of three and a certified child passenger safety tech. And unfortunately, I didn't bring any car seats with me, but I've got about three years under my belt at this, so I think, think I have a pretty good idea of how the car seats are going to fit. So we will be sure to cover how this vehicle would work for a family. <laughs> okay, the front end of this car. Here's what it is. It looks fresh. It almost looks like an electric vehicle, but it's not. But it's kind of giving that similar vibe with these futuristic lights, this like trapezoid-esque grille, kind of like this longer front end nose. It looks different, but I like it. I feel like if a vehicle doesn't look different enough, it's going to quickly become outdated. So I think it looks fresh. And even if it's not for you right now, I would encourage you to give it some time because I promise you, the more futuristic it looks now, the longer it's going to look good. Does that make sense? An exciting upgrade on this vehicle is it's the first car that's featuring the new Buick logo. So the old logo looks similar, but this is definitely a more simplified and sleeked version of it. We love the red, white, and blue, like darling. So I'm happy that they kept that, but I do think like ditching the circle, keeping them out flat like this kind of gives just the whole entire uh, Buick name kind of a fresh look. So let's move along to the side. So this is the Avenir trim and it's the top trim of this Encore GX. It starts at about $28,000. So all things considered for a brand new vehicle, it's not a bad price, especially for kind of like this mid-tier Buick name, right? So let's take a look at it. Something I'm loving. I'm loving these body color fenders right here. I think that really gives the vehicle a good look. I, I kind of go back and forth if I like the black or I like the body color. I think on the white, it looks very nice and fresh. We have some good chrome detailing up here. And as you can see on the top of this window, but look what this vehicle starts to do. It slopes off. This is called a GX. It's called the Encore GX, and it kind of is giving like, it's kind of like a cross between like a wagon and an SUV. I think that's what I want to tell you. So it is like a little bit more spacious than like a small SUV because of this kind of like sloped, almost station wagon kind of look. And what you're getting with that is a bigger back seat and some better trunk space. So let me know in the comments below what you think of the look of the vehicle. I think from a functionality standpoint, if you want a smaller car, especially for kids, this is kind of a good way to go. Okay, so let's take a look at everything you're getting on this Encore GX Avenir. As far as the tech in here, we have all the good things. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, it's complete touchscreen. It's all digitalized. Come down here, we have all of our climate control and everything pulled out. I love that. I love that they didn't shove it into the screen. Instead, it's very easy to adjust my climate control as needed. Wireless charger, USB and USB-C, two cup holders. I love like this like random other area. You know what this is? This is another cup holder. Like, let me tell like, sorry, I forgot my prop. Oh no. This is where you keep your Stanley, I guess. And then inside we have a very tiny, tiny center console, but it's a tiny, tiny car. So I feel like I can't be that mad about it. Some things that are super exciting in this vehicle, a rear view camera. So I love rear view cameras, especially for carrying second row passengers, right? Like this is so helpful. And I was impressed to see it in this small of a car. Normally we only see these in bigger vehicles. So shout out to Buick for including that, including that family friendly feature in the vehicle. Also a panel roof, darling, darling. And then let's look at the seats for a second. So this is the Avenir seats. We have some Avenir stitching right here and then some really nice designs, some contrast stitching, some preparations, a little bit of white piping right here. Overall, it's kind of like, kind of giving it a little bit of an elevated look. Um, so it's pretty basic up here. I think that you're getting a good tech, good value, a good size car for the money. I mean, I. I've, I've always been a fan of the Encore, so I actually like that now we have this bigger, more extended version of it. So let's get to the back seat. We'll start talking about the passenger space and the car seat setup. This seat set for myself, and I'm pretty tall, about six feet. So as you can see, a full-size adult fits honestly still pretty well back here. I think I'm most impressed with my headroom. Again, for the size of the vehicle, I feel like I still have good headroom. My knee clearance is fine. I also think this bench is actually a really nice size. Look at how wide just this middle seat is. Trust me, I've seen middle seats significantly smaller. So I do like how big this is. I also appreciate that these buckles right here are flexible, um, a little flexible. But what that means is you do have a little bit more flexibility for fitting multiple car seats, Would you can kind of maneuver the buckle a little bit to give yourself an inch here or there. As far as the car seat setup's concerned, it's just standard. We have two sets of lower anchors on the outboard seats. So 
three tether anchors across the back. When you can pull this down, we have some nice cup holders, so that's helpful for these passengers. Um, and then we have USB and USB-C down there. No vents back here. It's a small car, so like I'm sure you could feel those vents, but I did just want to point that out. All right, now let's go check out the trunk. I'm like loving some things and I'm like not loving some things. I would love, I would literally love to hear your thoughts in the comments. So I just feel like you use too many fonts. It's like, this is a different font. This is a different font. This is a different font. It's a lot of font on a little car. I love this. This Buick double space with the logo. I think this looks amazing. I'm not even mad at this. It just feels like they put them on the same side. Do you kind of know what I'm saying? It just looks like we like slapped them of bumper stickers on this thing. I don't know. I'm being dramatic. What, the, what, what else is new? Okay, we're gonna pop this thing up and then take a look at this trunk space. This is some killer trunk space. This thing is removable, but I do like it for some additional privacy so no one can see what's back there. We have our spare tire underneath here, but also quite a bit of additional storage as well. So the trunk is a good size. I wish I had a stroller. I guess I could. I would say a stroller could fit. So let me know in the comments what you think about this refreshed exterior Buick Encore GX. I love the front end. I'm into the back end. And I'm so happy that Buick made a great compact SUV like this. Just a little bit bigger and more family friendly. I'll talk to you guys next time.